Another solo tombstone duplication method has been discovered in Modern Warfare Zombies, and it works fantastic. Not only am I going to show you how to do that in this video, but my Discord discovered a different location to do this in a better way that doesn't require you to go into Tier 3, doesn't need a Scorcher, doesn't need a Flawless Ethereum Crystal, and you do not have to run around Tier 3 hoping you don't die. Check it out. But first, a quick word from our sponsor. If you don't have the time to unlock everything and need assistance in your favorite games like Call of Duty, Fortnite, Grand Theft Auto V, and more, then our sponsor, Damn Mods, is the place for you. They offer all camo unlocks, zombie schematics, bot lobbies, and more. Damn Mods has a five-star rating with thousands of reviews. Use the link below in the description and be sure to use code 1AD for 5% off your order. Now, the only item that you absolutely need is, right here, the blood burner keys. Technically, you could find one on the map, but it's going to be very hard and random if you can or can't find one. So just get a blood burner key in the new Dark Aether. If you haven't opened it up, you can check out this video to go open up the Dark Aether. Or if you just want someone to drop it for you, you can join our Discord down below, and someone will probably be able to drop a blood burner key for you that you can then duplicate after that. Once you have that blood burner key, I recommend taking a tombstone soda, but you can always just get 2,000 essence and buy one. You can bring your weapon, ether blade, any other items that you want to duplicate, because you're going to be duplicating them with tombstone anyways, and then jump into the match. As always, make sure you either use or give away all your items and crumple your tombstone. And then you're going to have two blood burners now because you duplicated one in your tombstone, so bring that bad boy out. Pull up everything else. That way we don't lose anything. So now we have our full item, same thing, and our blood burner. So let's take our blood burner. And we're going to drive our blood burner all the way down here. So you're going to go all the way down to this corner in I-8. I linked my video down to the original method below in the video there, so you can check that out. But you want to be right about here. Now see this giant mountain. It looks like you can't go up it, but that is not true. You can go right up and right out. No big deal, right? So that's what you're actually going to want to do. So what happens is if you drop your bike in the water, it'll automatically respawn to the nearest land spot that it was. So right now we've just established this as the nearest land spot. So let's take it now. Let's back up into the water, and now we're going to practice the next technique. And that's just to literally get in the water, hop off the bike, and hop back on it like this. Now notice what it does. It warps you right back to the original land location. It's very easy. Hop off, hop back on. There isn't really much timing to it. If you're on controller, I do recommend making it tap to get on, not hold down. It does make it a little easier, but you can do it with hold also. All right, so I'm going to face the mountain to make it as easy as possible. Back up and then test it out. I've noticed you have to get a little bit away from the location for it to work. Otherwise, it'll just keep respawning you on the water, which is not what you want. So once you're so far away, hop off, hop back on, and you're good. Now you're facing the right way. Okay, so here we go. Now the actual glitch happens. So what we're going to do, we're going to go all the way around here and then back down this way. But make sure not to touch any land here. Now, the difference is we're not going to go to this portal like the other videos do. Mainly because you're running on foot through Tier 3, which if you didn't know, they've buffed Tier 3 quite a bit. If you're a skilled player, you'll be fine. But if you're still getting used to running around, you don't want to be that guy that dies in Tier 3. So we're actually heading down to the old school Act 4 portal of Bad Signal. Now, here's where you want to go this way, left down this little alleyway. Just be very careful, again, not to go on land on your bike. Otherwise, it'll reset the area that it spawns the bike back to. So particularly through this area, just pay attention. It's not hard. You just got to be diligent. There you go, like this part. Just don't touch any land here. We should be fine. Okay, we're fine. Turn right. Now, we're going over to Bad Signal. But there's a specific spot you actually need to park near in Bad Signal. If you ride directly up to Bad Signal, it's going to set the bike in a different location. So here, you got to get the bike out of the water, but you don't want to touch that little grass area here. So it seems like if you park it right about here-ish, you should be good without resetting it. 
now you can just avoid these or throw a decoy if you want. But we already drank our tombstone, so now we're going to do the same old thing. This time, we're going to queue the Act 4 Bad Signal Portal, run back to our bike, back it up in the water, and then use that teleport glitch. Like this. Now again, if we did it right, this should spawn us back to the old location. Let's see. Boom. If you fall through, don't worry about it. You're good. And there you go. So now, vote yes. And then at six seconds, we're going to go right over this lip. Boom. Like that. Perfect. So you can just do that every time. But by moving it to that location, you don't have to go through tier three. You're still going to get the elimination here after the portal. And then black screen, quit app, or alt F4. So just like that, you have your weapon still. You didn't lose your insured weapon. Decoy grenade, ether blade, everything, including... Let me move my camera again. The good old blood burner still there. So all of our items duplicated just as it should be. We kept our weapon. We kept our gear, decoy, even the ether blade. Now let's go back to confirm that the tombstone is still there. Our tombstone has now duplicated. All the items are there. We kept our essence down here, 93,000. Everything else is absolutely good to go. Huge thanks to all of my Discord that really are the ones that discovered a better way to do this glitch. Again, we use I-7 down here, and then we use this portal because you now no longer have to run through Tier 3 or do all that craziness. You can just go out here, chill, get it done every time, not have to worry about dying on the way, and then use the bad signal. Like and subscribe if this video helped you, and as always, for the newest Modern Warfare Zombies and Warzone content, I will see you live on YouTube.